Today is the sixth day of hospitalization for this kitten that has fractured the left, the right distal femur at the growth plate. Now, the fractured femur was attached back to the shaft by pin and of course a cast casting and the kitten has been here for six days and it's, you can see the appetite is good drinks water this is overnight and it does pass motion now if we going back today the owner has to make sure that uh, that the kitten that the kitten doesn't run around or jump around and put in a small cage as as uh, about this size so that uh, we can uh, make sure that the the pin uh, is uh, not being uh, dis dislodged due to the movement or jumping of this kitten as you can see it's quite quite active and uh, appetite is good painkillers have been given antibiotics and uh, you can see the stools there the urine past urine so this video is a record of the success of this uh, treatment so far but of course we have to wait till six weeks to know whether the casting and the pinning will uh, be uh, successful or not but you can see this kitten is quite active and uh, if you see the casting has been done well you can see that there's no swelling of the toes no swelling of the toes and uh, the only danger is there might be some infection in the wound, the skin wound, which well, the skin was incised to, uh, to insert the pin from the fracture side up to the hip and down again, as you can see the other video. And overall, this is day six, and uh, I would say that uh, we need another five weeks, but uh, another one week more, I will check. I will open a cast to check for any uh, infection of that uh, incised lateral skin area to, to open up the fractured area to insert the pin. Now you can see there's a bandage to prevent the cast from being dirty. And you can see the the elastoplast is already quite dirty, quite dirty, but it's not that dirty because you can see uh, now the pin is done here. There's a skin incision here to insert the pin in and down again to stabilize it. And then the cast, this is the cast, the white thing. And you can see it's uh, a bit loose so that there is some uh, ventilation. And you see the toes are not swollen even on day six. So this shows that the cast is not too tight and not too loose and just nice if it's too tight the, the paw will be swollen so this this one you can see this is to immobilize the whole leg so that the fractured femur femoral head will heal with the pin in place and immobilized but you can see this kitten is so so uh, active so at home i don't know whether he'll be jumping around it's gonna jump down as well. Okay, I'm gonna stop videoing.